Question number seven. Now this one, you look at it, it looks like a doozy. And you go, how on earth am I going to do this at a glance? And it's going to take me a second just to write it all down. So look at all this. This is craziness, right? And you're like, without a calculator, what on earth am I supposed to do with this? All right, two things I want to note. First, if you come across a problem like this and you do not immediately, and this is true with any of these math problems, if you do not immediately look at it and go, oh, I know how to do this and I know how to do this quickly, mark it, skip it. And I mean mark it as in like make a note to come back, not mark it on the test, um, the entry answers, not the answer page. Make a mark to remind yourself I need to come back to this and skip it. Move on. Do not waste time puzzling over something where you do not immediately know how to answer it. That is wasting time when there are problems later that you might be able to very quickly answer and get those points. There's always, you know, if you go through and you do the rest, there's always an opportunity. You can come back to it at the end. Just don't forget about it. <laughs> Second thing, this looks very time intensive. However, as I've said, this is a fast, no calculator based test. This is also number seven out of, is it 20? I think it's 20 in this section. Well, let's double check. Yeah, 20, seven out of 20. They tend to, not always, but tend to get harder as they go along. So number seven shouldn't be the most insane problem on this test. So let's look what they're asking. It says the formula above gives the monthly payment M needed to pay off a loan of P dollars at R percent annual interest over N months. That's a lot going on. You go, wow, what am I gonna have to do with this? But here's the question. Which of the following gives P in terms of M, R, and N? Anytime you say this, it says which of the following gives P in terms of this? They're wanting you to get P by itself and equals and everything else on the right hand side. That's what they're looking for. So for example, if you've seen like distance equals rate times time and they go, what is this in terms of T? What well, gives this you know, or gives this as gives T in terms of R and D, excuse me. So they want T by itself. So you go, okay, I'm going to divide both sides by R T equals D divided by R. So here, I am giving you T in terms of D and R. That's what they mean. Isolate this, get it by itself. So here's the thing. I know that this equation looks ridiculous. This whole big equation looks insane, but it's a unit. It's this whole unit and P is essentially by itself just being multiplied by this unit. So that's helpful. Look at this in terms I'm going to replace this with a more quote unquote normal looking fraction. What if it was like this? How would I put this? How would I do P in terms of M and I want P by itself? I would get P by itself by getting rid of this fraction. How do we get rid of a fraction in algebra? We multiply by the reciprocal. We do this to both sides. We multiply by the reciprocal, that gets rid of it, right? So then I am left with P equals four thirds M. And you can see how this gets rid of it. If I just do it off to the side here, what happens if you multiply those together? Three times four is 12, four times three is 12, 12 over 12 is one. So it's just one times P the fraction has essentially disappeared. So that is our principle. I can get rid of this whole unit if I multiply by the reciprocal. So that's what we're gonna do. That's all it is. We don't have to do anything with all that. We're just going to multiply it by the reciprocal. So I am just, cause that's so much to write. So I'm multiplying by the reciprocal. I'm cheating here because yeah, I'm only human. I don't want to write that mess more than I have to, right? So we multiply by the reciprocal. I will be left with P by itself. And on the other side will be the reciprocal of that. I will write it this time. 
So that 1 plus r over 1,200 to the power of n minus 1 all over r over 1,200 times 1 plus r over 1,200 to the power of n all times m. That's my answer. That's all I had to do was flip that huge equation, that huge fraction upside down to make a reciprocal and multiply it by both sides. Okay, so if you look and be careful when you look, that is option B for your choices. So if you know that about the fractions, you could do that very quickly and it clearly looked like something that was not a quick problem.